Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gamer Milk. I believe this is episode 34. I am your host, Mr. Stray, and today I am joined by... Me, Stick Bob. Hello, Stick Bob. What's going on? Eh, not much. You know, just everyday things. You know, like robbing people and yeah. all that. Yeah. Uh, drinking... Chopping kids in the basement. Rube, drinking bottles of water. That's just offensive. <laughs> What do you mean? I thought you weren't British. Huh? Eating Big, eating big Macs. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> Don't bring America into this. Patriotism. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I have my freedom of speech. Guns. Stickball, are you good at math? Yes. <laughs> I don't believe you. I mean, I am in... So, like, in, in my school, we have like sets which is like basically the higher the number like I don't, I don't know how it works but i am in the top set of my year so shut up really oh yeah what's 128 yeah. divided by two 128 divided by two 64 just like oh the game God. we played super mario 64 i realized <laughs> as soon as i said it that was the smartest one i've ever done oh my yeah, goodness you made me do it <laughs> I almost did, like, what's 32 plus 32, but I thought that would have been too good. Like, you would have caught on easily, so I did 128 divided by 2. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe that. <laughs> Immediately. Super Mario 64 is a platform game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo 64. It was released in Japan and North America in 1996. Uh, it is the first Super Mario game to feature 3D gameplay, combining traditional Super Mario gameplay, gameplay visual styles and characters in a large open world. We played it for a week. Stick Bob, you've already had played this game before, but you hadn't beaten it, right? Correct. Did you beat it this week? I did indeed. You wait, you did? Yeah, I, I literally I was playing today and beat it. You got the seventy stars? Oh no, I didn't get seventy. So if you if you get up to where the big clock is, you can use a backwards long jump glitch to oh, glitch past the infinite stairs. Okay, stairs. so basically you cheated, and we're gonna get Nintendo to ban ban your Raspberry Pi. No, no, <laughs> it is an official speed running technique called cheating. It has. It has its own acronym. Okay, well, I didn't beat the game because I'm not a cheater. Hey, I could have beat it easy without the BLJ. The BLJ? That's what it's called. That's it's, not, the BLJ. it's like a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and jelly? What is, what is that? So, I played the game how it's supposed to be played. Um, Strick Bob uh, is now not allowed to even talk about this game. Because he just takes advantage of things that were never supposed to be. And Mate, anybody who's on like... Main... <laughs> Mate, on my main save, I have over 70 stars, so... Uh-huh. And I haven't beaten Bowser, so... Yeah, try me. Mm-hmm. I also played this game on my Switch. And Stick Bob used a hacked version of it on his Raspberry Pi. So it's like, who are you, Stick Bob? It's not hacked. It's a downloaded version onto a <laughs> console you were never supposed to play it on. Well, Nintendo hasn't stopped the Raspberry Pi being made, has it? Nintendo's gonna show up at your doorstep tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna confiscate everything, Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo, don't dox me. So yeah, I played this on my Switch because I have the 3D All All Stars version. That's how I beat Mario Galaxy, and um. So, you didn't even play the original version. <laughs> you played the remake. Yeah, sold by Nintendo. <laughs> but also, it's um. The reason it, you didn't it doesn't it early is because backwards long jump doesn't work in that. Wait, it doesn't? No, they patched it. Well, I they never. I never glitch, looked um... it up to try to even cheat. So <laughs> there's a glitch in the original version where if you gain enough speed. In Bomb on Battlefield, you can glitch all the way till the final Bowser fight with zero stars, and they patched that. I didn't even know because I didn't look it up to try to cheat. I mean, I didn't, I mean, I didn't look it up. I found it in a video. Uh-huh. 
Anyway. <laughs> so, um, first of all, we, before we continue, did you go back and play Raid Shadow Legends? No. What do you, what? It's not even on my phone anymore. I went back and I played it for hours. No, I, I did not either. <laughs> I would be insane. You lie a lot in our videos. Wait, what? Oh, well, podcast. N nothing. I, I've never told a single lie. I mean, you lied for an entire episode. <laughs> No, that was a joke. It's still lying. No, it was a non-truth. Yeah, we did. If you liked the game, it was a. It was a. No. It was a non-truth, not a lie. What's the opposite of truth? Non-truth. AKA a lie. Oh. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um. Wait, how about we, how about we <laughs> let the viewers decide? A poll on this one. What? What? Put a poll? Oh, no. Yeah, put a poll on this episode. We will put a poll if Strict Bob is a liar. He lied or not. But no. You're the one that lied that episode. Nope. Anyways, um, this game, when it came out, won Game of the Month. Uh, it won the Game of the Month for September and June. Um, it won the Gold Award. It won Nintendo 64 Game of the Year. Okay, that's just Nintendo patting themselves on the back. Nintendo 64 <laughs> game of the year. <laughs> um, it won adventure game of the year and it won best graphics. Really, it won best graphics in 1996, where there's other well, it was 1996. You have to remember that that was the best graphics back then. No, I thought Nintendo has always had the worst graphics compared to other consoles. Like, was the PlayStation out in 1996? Wait, not, no, Duke Nukem, I think. Wait, was that Duke Nukem? Yeah, Duke Nukem, I think, was released. Yeah, Duke Nukem 3D, we played that. Okay, compared to this, I'd probably say this game has better graphics than Duke Nukem. Pokemon, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, uh, Resident <laughs> Evil. There's literally a Resident Evil game that released. Wouldn't that have better graphics? It was Tomb Raider. Like, the first Resident Evil... I don't know. Uh, Nintendo be cheating. Just like Stick Bob. Um, what? It also won best uh innovative technology, uh best console game, and then in 1997 it was still it won game of the year in 1997 again, best looking game, best 64 game. Nintendo patting themselves on the back again, and it won a gold award. It won two years in a row. This this game took the world by storm. Uh, since talking about graphics, let's go into graphics uh of this game. It reminds me of um, another game that we have played on the podcast uh, called uh, Super Mario uh, Sunshine. Oh, and it reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. I wonder why. I don't know why. No, this, like, okay, so I just want to say, when you load the game, okay, and you get that Mario face on your screen, what, is, what in the world, who decided that? It's the same for Mario Galaxy, like the the planet heads, but in this one, it's a talking Mario looking right at you and doing his Mario voice. Let's go, Rauro, whatever he says. Also, I think this is the first time Mario had voice acting. I'm fairly sure it was uh, Charles Martinet uh, who did the voice acting. Oh, wait, no, it was Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt did the voice acting. <laughs> no, it was Charles, Charles Martinet. <laughs> Yeah, Charles Charles Martinet. Um, I, I remember seeing a thing on how he how he got the voice and did it. Like everybody was doing like soup, like they were copying the the TV show and doing voices. Um, and he just went for a totally different type of voice that everybody else. Everybody was doing a deep voice, and he went for a high pitched voice, and uh, they liked it. Um, but yeah, the graphics they they are dated. Because the Switch version, um, it doesn't have any updated graphics. It looks the same as it did on the uh, the 64, basically. Except I'm playing it on a like a a tiny screen, <laughs> a tinier screen than it's supposed to be played on, um, and the resolution might be a tiny bit better. Mario, I, I do I do like the look of Mario. Uh, even though he does not look anything like they portray him in his uh the game cover of this game, like he looks so like clear compared to what he looks like. Like he's he's very blocky. That's what I'm trying to say. 
He, he's chunky. He's uh, thick. <laughs> Those are words you would use. And but I do I do like I think this game is uh is like. It, I think uh, the world and everything looks really good, especially when uh, you load into the first area, like the first Star World, the painting you jump into. Um, I love the level creativity and everything, and I think. I think I like this one more than Mario Sunshine, even though I thought Mario Shun Sunshine re looked really good. I think I enjoyed this game a lot more um, because of the um, platforming and everything. I do have complaints, but I'll save my complaint later for this game. But I, I thought the game looked good. One word. Good. Good. <laughs> but why? Okay, wait, better than Mario Galaxy? No. But why? why? Why is it not better than Mario Galaxy? In one word. I don't know. <laughs> That's three words. <laughs> okay, IDK. Okay, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can save the day once again. Okay, animations. Uh, I, I think all the animations look great. Uh, I do, I do like Okay, <laughs> I want to say about something about character design. I, this is probably my least favorite Bowser. I think the Bowser in this game looks disgusting. Agreed. He looks like what they... The, it looks like they just tried to make an exact version of what um, he looked like in, uh, in the 2D ones. Which is basically what they're going for. But he just doesn't look good in 3D. I like when he looks more menacing. He he just he doesn't look menacing in this game. He looks better when they actually like when they actually model him after um after Jack Black. He looks a lot better in the other uh in the future 3D games. I think they figured out what style worked for Bowser. We can say so long to that Bowser. <laughs> what is it supposed to say that people miss here? Uh, Mario swings and he uh. He says so long King Bowser, but they think he's saying so long gay Bowser. <laughs> yeah. And that's just because <laughs> it's because the high pitch voice and also the audio quality wasn't that good back then to fit into the game. So it kind of sounded like that. <laughs> so long gay Bowser. <laughs> like what a diss. <laughs> it throws him at a bomb. But yeah, I like the animations of Mario and doing his jumps and his flips and everything. Like, they added all that stuff into this game. This is where Mario first got to do his long jump. He didn't get to do it in any other game before. Like, they came up with his long jump, his backwards uh, flip jump, whatever you call it, um, his triple jump. Wait, did they come up with the triple jump in here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think this yeah. game also came up with the triple jump. It's well, like, did they come up with like, the jump as well? No, I think wait, if you one, run one direction and then quickly turn behind you and then jump. Like, do that sideways flip. Oh, yeah, the, the, the backwards jump, right? No, you, like, jump on your side like a cartwheel. Oh. No, oh, I, I don't know if I really noticed that one. That would be interesting, but they came up with a lot of good moves. People who worked on this game, they had a little bit. Like, this, for their first 3D Mario game, there's probably a lot of... um like hype around this game and it probably i think it, this is the best selling 64 game and uh, you'd put it next to like a zelda game or something but i'm pretty sure this is like the best selling one and also we have now played all of the three all three 3d retro uh mario games yay we just have to wait till free what well, 3d land gets retro mario galaxy 2 oh yeah <laughs> i forgot about that one is the game hard no yeah, it's not. It's not really hard. I, I, I don't think it's punishing. The game's not punishing. I find the three D uh, Mario's to be probably easier than the two D Mario's. <laughs> They're not really uh, hard, which is probably because these were like maybe kiddish games, and at this time they had developed how to make a game easier. But I think it can be challenging in certain areas. Like with parkour, but I think that was just due to the controls of the game. But yeah, I don't think it's hard. Is the game audio good? Surprisingly, yes. I thought this might be bad because it's 64. Um, the audio is good. I think 
I, well, all all three D Mario games so far have all had good audio. I don't th- I don't think it's possible for Mario games to have bad audio. The day that they have bad audio, the day that they have to stop making Mario games, <laughs> they should have stopped at Mario Tennis Power Tour. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. That game had good audio. It just wasn't a good game. Hey, hey, hey. don't be hating on the game just because you can't play it properly. What do you mean? <laughs> I was good at it. <laughs> All right. Yes, the audio is good. Do the graphics hold up to now? To other Mario 3D games, it's not far behind. And they re-released it, and everybody was fine with it. So, yeah. Do you have a favorite part of the game? There's so much that's good about it. You know, one thing I really like about it, so you're not just stuck to one star in a world at a time. You have, so like for instance, in each world, you can go for the red coin star whenever you want. Yeah, you can go out of order. You don't have to go in order like in Mario Galaxy or uh, Sunshine. It uh, gives you an order, but you don't have to follow it. Like, I did that accidentally. I, um, in the first world, I, I got, like, the last star first. Uh, it's the like Chain Chomp one, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Was, I got the Chain Chomp one, I got other ones, but... Uh, I like I got them almost completely out of order. <laughs> I think I did do the boss fight one first though, so I I got the first one. Uh, but yeah, then I I just went out of order, and then oh, oh my goodness, the flying cap. Oh, that thing was so annoying. I it was. I could not wait to. So you know, on that level where you get the flying cap. Yep. That thing was so <laughs> annoying to get all the red coins. Like, you had to do it in one go. Yeah, you. I had to... I would miss one, and I would be like, No! Why? I, I completed it, and I fell. And I had to redo it. I wasn't able to grab the star, and I was so angry. If I miss one, I would just ground pound and kill myself. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> My favorite part? Um, probably the... Um, probably the exploration... Of the Mushroom Kingdom. Going to the different areas. I think they're very well built. And I, I like the style a lot. Do you have a least favorite part? Yes. Is it what we were just talking about a little bit ago? No. <laughs> I don't think so. No. It is the camera. Oh my goodness. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> it's so annoying. At the beginning of this podcast, I was like, I'm going to save my complaint for later. This was literally my complaint. <laughs> it is so bad. It, like, you're trying to spin around Mario, but it locks you and you have to spin the other way. But then somehow it gets locked again and you just can't look at what you're wanting to look at. And also, what is that second cam? So you have the yeah, it's like, Mario cam is Mario worse. Cam, like, yeah, I know. It's so bad. Like you can't see anything. If you, move. I do want to say though that is creative that Lakitu follows you with a camera, and that's how you're seen in third person. Every Mario, every 3D Mario game has a companion, and then there's 64. He's he's a news reporter as well. Yeah, he's not even a companion. News reporter. What if he became the villain in the end, and he starts throwing red spinies at you? Hey, you remember their name? What? What? The Spinies? <laughs> like nobody knows their name. Oh no! Wait, literally nobody knows their name. <laughs> I'm the only person in the world who knew their name. <laughs> yeah, it was joked about in the Mario movie as well. Oh yeah, Bowser says and uh, whatever those things are. <laughs> yeah, like Koopas, Goombas, and whatever those things are. I I know that they're Spinies because they're literally spiny. <laughs> that's funny oh yeah but i love that part koopas koopas and whatever those things are <laughs> yeah least favorite part of the game is the uh camera angle they shouldn't have made fun of the camera angles in <laughs> the mario movie yes <laughs> uh, like mario's like like yeah i turn around <laughs> all right um this is the part where we decide if the game is good or not uh, I have two vetoes. Stickbob has one. That means that we can say if the game is good or not, and nobody else would be able to, like the other person would not be able to say anything. Um, or we could both use a good or a bad to make it a super spoiled or a super gamer milk. I am not going to use a veto 
I'm gonna say that the game is good though. I am going to do the same. The game is a Gamer Milk approved game. You should play this game. It is fun. Trust me. I'm going to beat it. Um, Big Bob is not allowed to play the game anymore. When we replay this game, has, is going to sue me if I play again. Yeah. When we play the game again, yes. Ah, uh, I'm. Li- I literally just said a little bit ago. Uh, well, if I play it, I'm getting sued. So. Is there an audience for the game? Totally. Mario fans. Nintendo fans. People who saw the movie fans. Turtles. What? Turtle. T- turtle. Yeah. So the Koopas are turtles. Hey, fine. Dinosaurs. Okay, there we go. They should make a mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah, toad. Toad's a mushroom. He's a fun guy to be around. Your silence is uh, very silent. <laughs> Indeed, it is. All right, we have a wheel of different consoles from PlayStation to NES. <laughs> from PlayStation to NES. <laughs> PlayStation. I was having a seizure. Um, we also have special wheels, <laughs> like viewers' games. Viewers have sent in their games that they would like us to play, and we can put them on here. We have mobile games. We have games the same. Games me and Stickbob have both owned. They do not have to be retro. Uh, we have 10 games each, 10 games that are <laughs> retro, and... We said that we were going to literally, like, <laughs> fill this out. <laughs> um, so it might be, like, six games each now. <laughs> uh, we need to put on new games. I know. We, we need to do that. We also have Atari. But we are adding a new wheel, Stickbob. Ooh. This is going to be video game movies mm-hmm. slash shows this new special wheel added to the list so if anybody out there please uh we actually do need help on this one because for some reason it's really hard to find but if there is a video game that has a movie based off of it not a video game based on a movie a movie based on a video game okay it has to be a game first yeah it has to be the game had to be made first also stick with, should we count dungeons and dragons because that's a board game <laughs> But it also yeah, it also has game. it also has video games. Yeah, it has, it has its own video game made, and it recently got a movie. We need to watch the Monopoly movie. Oh yeah, isn't that being made? <laughs> Bruh. I can't wait to not the pass Monopoly. go and not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> There's uh, like a NES Monopoly. I think there is actually. I've pl- I've actually played it. No, I'm I'm gonna put that on the ten games each wheel. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, okay. I will make you the my Monopoly. You ready? No, but will I ever be? Let me shuffle this. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Tell me when to stop. Continue. Okay. Hey, my finger is getting tired. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> ah! Okay, you can stop. You <laughs> suffered enough. And here we go. I do not have any fingers anymore. They are completely disintegrated. You were not expecting that. Continue. Ooh. Sega Genesis. Okay. The Sega... Genesis isn't a bad one? It's not, not bad. I have a, a an Xbox 360 game that has a bunch of Sega Genesis games on it. It's the weird... I, I think Sega Genesis is on my pie. Alright, so... um, I think we have it right... Okay, Stickball, we are going to spin this three times. And then spin this thing. the game looks like called USA. <laughs> USA, let's go. Shadow Dancer, the sh- secret what? of Shinobi. This is actually... The Shinobi games are very popular. I've never heard of it. I haven't heard of Shadow Dancer. Um, the secret of Shinobi. I'm just expecting like it to be um, Michael Jackson or something. <laughs> Won't you be like, just dance? <laughs> it's just dance for the Sega Genesis. Okay, can we get something good? <laughs> like uh, Mario on the Sega. Lemmings? What? Ooh, lemmings. What is lemmings? They're like, I think they're like little blue hamster creatures. Thunder Force? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thunder Force. It's the Sega Genesis and we have a single Sonic game. Oh, I just saw Monopoly. Uh, yeah, Monopoly's up there. Scooby-Doo! <laughs> Wait, let's give it one more spin because there's a chance of getting Monopoly. 
Just just so we can get Monopoly. <laughs> if it is, we have to play Monopoly. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger as well. Well, that would be good. M1 Abrams Battle M1 Tank. Abrams Battle Tank. What is this? What? Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Thunder Force. What? There's a, there's a Netflix movie called Thunder Force. Thunder Force IV. Um, was that IV is like is four, right? Thunder Force Four. It yeah, is, Thunder it, Force Four. It is a. It looks kind of cool. Um, it's a spaceship driving game. It's a shoot 'em up. So basically, you're just sh- shooting and shooting while flying a plane. Doesn't seem too bad. Is this game? I don't know if this game would be on your pie. That would be crazy if it was. Thank you, everybody, so much. We are going to be playing Thunder Force 4 on the Sega Genesis. Oh boy, I, I cannot wait. Thank you, everybody, so much for uh, for joining today. Um, we appreciate it. We'll see you next week for another game. But until then, it's a me, a Mario. Oh, yeah.